Hi and welcome back. So in the last video we saw a very simple hello world program and in this video we are going to be looking at adding delays in our program. So first off I want to mention that in the last video we had a single initial begin uh, set here and what I can do is I can have multiple of these as well so I can have multiple initial begins and remember that all of these are going to start at t equals 0 so I add a display here and I say world and let's go ahead and run this So as you can see it prints hello and world and remember that display actually adds a new line. If I don't want a new line I could have a write here instead of display. So if I say write and I run this again. So this time it's not going to add a new line by itself. So that's about having multiple initial begins in our program. Now what I want to do is uh, let's just switch this back to display and now what I want to do is I want to add some kind of a delay here. So what I can do is I can say uh, I can add the pound symbol and then add a number. So this number right here is the number of time units that I want a delay of. So here I'm saying I want a delay of 10 time units. So let's save this and try running it again and as you can see this time world printed first and hello printed later that's because I added a 10 unit delay here and of course for us they almost appeared simultaneously and that's because the 10 units is a really small time so but the fact remains that world was printed first because these both of these initial blocks started at the same time. So that's it about delays and we'll continue the rest in the next video. So I'll see you there.